In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach a head. Now, this is our large doll, but the instruction stays the same for the small doll as well. I will just give you the measurements afterwards. So let's start. What I've done is for the large doll, we will measure from the little crevice in her neck 12 centimeters to where we want her hairline to be in the front. So we use these side seams as an indication as to where the front of our head starts and where the back of our head starts. So you measure 12 centimeters, make little marks right around in the front of the head. For the back of the head, we use this little crevice and then we start at seven and a half centimeters. You will put your first little mark. Okay, then you add one and a half centimeter increments until you get to the 12 to the 12 centimeter hairline that we do at the front. Okay, so we've got our basic hair that you can find anywhere online in all shapes and sizes. And now we are going to start. Make sure that you have some pins with you. Just remember you won't be able to use these afterwards because they will be full of glue. Okay, so let's start. So you just basically glue the top of the hair where they come together. Make sure you've got enough glue on there. And then you just follow your little marks. And then you pin the hair in place just to make sure it stays there while it's drying. Now we'll start at the beginning again. We're now going to start with our last row here. You will see we're at the 12 centimeter headline. So what we'll do is we'll take it all the way around and continue to the front. What you will see now is we've reached basically the beginning again. So we're not going to waste any of this there. We're just going to use it. So, but now we don't have any marks for this. So the, all, the only thing we will do is we will just follow it close to the previous round of hair. You will find once you're at this stage, it's easier just to glue, put the glue on the doll head and then just stick the hair. Okay, so there we have now attached this entire string of hair. You will see one string of hair is more than enough if you're making a large doll, um, one string of hair will be sufficient making a large doll when she's wearing a hat. When she's not wearing a hat, obviously you will use more hair, but just remember, the more hair you have on this head, the heavier the head becomes, and it is going to affect the way this doll is going to stand. So let's just remove all of these pins. So remember, 
this does look weird, but once you put on the little hat, no one is going to know the difference. Let's just show you. And there she is. Absolutely perfect with a nice body of hair. So just to recap what you're doing, you're measuring your hairline that will go right around at a 12 centimeter from the little crevice in the neck. For the back side, you're starting to measure at seven and a half centimeters, and then you're adding one and a half centimeters increments until you get to your 12 centimeters. That would be three rows. The fourth row would, would then be your 12 centimeter line. Remember, when you've come, gone full circle, and you get to the beginning of the hair again, don't waste the hair, just glue it close to each other so that it doesn't go to waste. Okay, and there she is. And now you can start dressing and completing her.